artist to bring in more money, it is an opportunity for some to create a visual representation and lastly to reach the artist's target audience. The next thing I'll be explaining will be the montage editing. In Calvin Harris' song Blame, presented by John Newman, there are many different times in which editing has been used to create a montage. For example, near towards the beginning of the video, there is a scene of John Newman sitting on his bed, and the next, he is sitting on a chair. The next video that uses montage editing I will be discussing is Maroon 5's song Payphone. In this video, Maroon 5 uses montage editing to switch between the lead singer at Payphone singing, and then him to being chased by the police. The second convention that I'm going to be discussing will be the merits of explaining music videos. The first artist that I'm going to be explaining will be Tiny Temper's song Children of the Sun. In this video, Tiny Temper and John Martin describe a real equal one to one song about how she treats each other with respect. The next one that I'm going to explain will be Katy Perry's song Raw. The narrative in this song is all about courage. This happens in the video when Katy Perry is all alone in the jungle and then gradually becomes fearless and turns into the leader of the jungle. The narrative is used in so many music videos is it? it can allow the audience to get closer to the artist or band and keeps them entertained because there may be an inspirational message formed in it which reaches out to the target audience. The next convention that I'll be explaining will be the different kind of camera shots taken during the music videos. The first video that I'll be used will be Take That and the Song The Flood. In this video, they will use many different long shots and close ups. They do this because they want to show the intensity of the race and their pursuit to reach their destination. The second group or slash artist that I'm going to be using will be Green Day and the song American Idiot. During this video, many long shots are taken to show the whole band playing as a group instead of just a lone singer getting all the close ups and therefore the intention, showing only the intensity from his point of view. A music video will have different camera shots in it because otherwise the audience will lose interest by constantly seeing the artist forward slash band from the same position and range. Different camera shots allow the artist to get closer to their target audience by having, a, by having say, a close-up shot showing a tear coming from their eye. The fourth convention that I will be discussing will be the fashionable costuming of the artist during the music videos. My first example from this is Ed Sheeran, who in pretty much all of his videos is wearing trendy clothing to make himself look normal to the viewers and to keep in the current trend of fashion. The next artist forward slash band I'm going to be using will be Metallica. Metallica follow a certain style of music called heavy rock, so their idea of fashion has a lot to do with ripped clothes, tank tops, dark makeup, all pretty much dark clothing and a fair bit of iconography. Fashionable costuming is there in the music videos because artists want to be seen as tra attractive to their audience. And also, a lot of the time they wear specific clothing to promote different brands and businesses. The sixth convention I'll be explaining will be the artists looking attractive to their audience. Iggy Azalea is an example of this, especially in her song Fancy where she is wearing clothing that is very appealing to most of the male side of her audience. The next artist I'll be explaining will be Ellie Goulding. Who in all her songs is wearing pretty much attractive clothing. But she attracts her audience by wearing different kinds of attractive clothing, especially in her song Burn. The artists in music videos tend to look appealing to their target audience because they want to gain a larger audience and it helps to keep most of the audience interested in watching a video. The seventh convention is going to be the use of multiple locations during the music videos. In Imagine Dragon's song On Top of the World, they shoot between the locations of the family home and the launch site. My second example is taken from the script song Hall of Fame, where they constantly switch between the dance class and the fighting arenas to both of those people being at home waking up to their families. They do this in the videos because they, sh they sh want to show the differences between being brought up in a fairly wealthy family and being brought up in a much poorer background. Multi multiple locations are used in music videos because it shows the diversity during a video it again can keep the audience very much interested and will relate to the narrative in the vid music video which all ties in to what the artist is trying to get across to their target audience. My next convention that I'm going to be discussing will be the performers during the music videos. My first example of this is from Michael Jackson's song Thriller. The performers around Michael are all dressed in zombie outfits. This allows the performers to relate to each other and create a bond between each other because of it. Pretty much every music video contains costumes designed for the specific artist or band. There will always be a performer of some kind during a music video, otherwise the audience may not know if the artists have actually been there, and it shows that the artist is committed in what they do. 
Rock bands like Metallica show the different members are playing in the band and each of the instruments they're holding. When it comes to a solo artist like Rihanna, they will only show her singing. The ninth convention that I'll be looking at will be the costumes of the artists forward slash bands in their music videos. One example of this is from Coldplay's song Paradise, and during this, the lead singer Chris Martin is dressed up in an animal costume, which is an elephant, to represent what it's like to be locked up behind bars, but then on your way to paradise. The second video that uses costumes in it will be Iggy Azalea's song Black Widow. In this song, Iggy Azalea and Rita Ora both are dressed in almost more attractive ninja, co ninja costumes that represent the training they've had during the video. Every artist wears a costume of some kind in music videos to maybe appeal to the audience, or it may start a new fashion trend in the fashion business. Costumes also represent the genre of the music, so for a rock band, they will usually be wearing quite heavy coloured dark clothing and have a quite a um, dark background to the song, maybe. The tenth convention that I'll be looking at will be the camera work. A lot of camera work is used in every music video because it keeps the audience focused of the artist and it keeps them entertained. Eminem is a good example of this because he uses different camera shots in his most of his raps. The camera is constantly switching between left to right and front and center to keep the entertainment and to make his rapping more intense. Also, Imagine Dragons song Radioactive is a very good example as well because as the song goes on, the music becomes more and more intense and therefore the camera is racing to different corners to capture the intensity during the drum smashing scene. My second to last convention I'm going to be talking about will be the lip syncing. This is used in every music video today. Many famous artists do this. For example, Beyonce is known to do this in many of her music videos. Also, Nicki Minaj has only recently been accused of lip syncing in her live performance at the YMCMBs. My last convention that I'm going to be discussing will be the main one. This is the artist or band actually appearing in their music video. This involves every single music video being produced because without the artist or band actually appearing in the music video, how can people tell if they actually sung it or performed it? Some examples of artists appearing in the music videos are from Taylor Swift's song Trouble and Tears for Fears' famous song Mad World.